Hi everybody. Um, this is not the greatest setup, but um, if you follow our channel, you know I have been talking about the fact that I need to go a little bit bigger and that I need to practice the various ways that I blow out my blooms. So I need to practice blowing them out myself versus uh, using my little mini blower, which works great for tiles. I also need to practice hair dryer and various other tools. Um, when you use bigger tools with a wider mouth, you run into challenges of your cell activator space being small and you have to kind of blow it out in such a way where, um, sorry I have paint all over me, where you get your cell activator to move without just blowing it out to one side. That's where I struggle with. So this is a record I poured on. I never released this video because the composition was not the greatest. So this is why I bought records to pour on. Um, so I'm going to pour over it. So I'm going to use a black pillow. This is Color Place from Walmart. That's probably too much pillow. You know, I poured that like these don't have shallow edges or something, but oh well. This color place satin finish. Um, I didn't even set up my camera in a normal place, so I'm kind of just in a <clears throat> in. I didn't bring enough popsicle sticks in here either. I'm kind of in um, in the bedroom in here where I put this puppy pool when I'm not using it. So this is Atelier uh, Light Cobalt Turquoise. And I'm just going to kind of do some messy colors that I like um, together. It's kind of why I'm using a black background because it's a little harder to mess up a black background in my opinion. So <clears throat> using a mixture of pigments and tube paints. I just got the new prism pour in today and that's like Christmas for me. This is quinacridone blue violet from Liquitex soft body. It's a really pretty color. So I'm just putting a couple tube paints down kind of layered in between pigments. <clears throat> and I'm probably using too many colors. That's one of my shortcomings honestly. This is Bellagio. This is part of the putting on the glitz from Color Art Primary Elements. Sorry about my sniffles. I'm still a little under the weather. And, um, which is why I'm not currently working out with my husband, because I need to stop being sick so I can move on with life a little, you know? So this is one of the new Prism Pour colors. It's called Chrysocola. It's a gorgeous teal greenish color. <clears throat> Just beautiful, and it's raining outside, so you might hear that in the background. When my husband is done working out, I need to work on the resin project that we're working on for a friend of ours. Let's see, I brought limited amounts of popsicle sticks in here. I didn't even bring a toothpick or anything. This is boysenberry, always a fave of mine. And some of these colors will probably go on here more than once. Um, I brought more colors in here than I really should use. This is Blissful Bordeaux, also from Putting on the Glitz. Just an outstanding color. And I'm deliberately not doing circles in case you guys are like, gosh, she's messy. I want those colors to kind of break up in the background. I don't want them to all be the same. <clears throat> I'm going to use a little Hot Orchid, which is also a Prism Pour color. It's kind of a hot pink. And I'm going to use the same Popsicle stick. I'm not going to use too much, but I just wanted a little pop of color. <clears throat> well, let's talk about not using too much. I used a lot. And... I'm going to use a Payne's Gray Cell Activator. I just mixed it up because the other one I had mixed up was kind of old. <sighs> I kind of want to use a little bit of quinacridone um, 
red violet but I think we'll add a little bit more of this one just because it's new and I want to see it and maybe we will put quinacridone red violet at the top <clears throat> I kind of want to put a tube paint at the top, um, just near the cell activator. So I'm going to do a little bit more of this blue-violet from Liquitex, and then I may do a little bit. So this one is Atelier Quinacridone Red-Violet. I used it the other day in the color test that I did. <clears throat> You may have seen it there. So my favorite one now is the Matisse Australian Red Violet. It's expensive though, so I don't really want to play around with it too much. It hurts my feelings if I end up painting over it. There's a lot of bubbles in what I just poured and I have no toothpick. So, <clears throat> so um, one of the things I've been working on a little bit more with my cell activator is using um, a little bit more Floetrol in my ratios. So Australian Floetrol that is. I was doing a three to one ratio and after watching some ongoing training and stuff, I think a four to one works a little bit better sometimes for movement, especially when you're blowing it out with your mouth. So let's see, I'm sorry, you're probably gonna see my big head in the way and I look real crazy today, so I'm sorry in advance. <clears throat> Excuse me. Last night I was dealing with resin and I was wearing a respirator and trying to talk for a video and I was like, I cannot do this. It's too much to try to breathe. <clears throat> okay. Ooh. I feel like my colors are sinking into my pillow. That's the weirdest thing I've ever seen. I don't, I don't understand what's happening. It's like my pillow. Hold on. It's like my pillow swallowed my colors. That's never happened before. <clears throat> I can't tell. I really can't tell if that's what happened. Or if I just put too much pillow down. Can y'all see that? Like the paint is there. It's just the weirdest thing. Something about this isn't right. I think <clears throat> if I had to speculate, I think what happened is that I had too much of a pile of it right here and it's kind of thick. It's not usually this thick. And um, I think what happened is when I blew it out, like I just glided the paint to the edges. That's like the weirdest thing ever. Um, I don't, I don't want to waste this because I still feel like this is decent pillow paint. The colors are magnificent. I think if I blew it out, it would look okay, but I think I need to pillow it from here. So give me a second. Yeah, this is like for sure one of the strangest things that's ever happened to me. <clears throat> okay, so all I'm going to do is I'm just going to add paint over this. Look at that. Just the kind of day I'm having. I'm just going to pile it up again kind of in the middle. I 
I can see that I have too much of it, so that's part of the problem. I just need to even it out a little bit. It's like the weirdest thing ever. The colors are like amazing. So I'm just gonna spin it out and kind of even it out. So weird. All right, let's try that again. Strangest, strangest experience ever. Maybe I need to make sure that the base layer is pretty solid. I mean, that was just so bizarre. I'm gonna layer them just a little differently. So that was the Cobalt Turquoise Light. This is the Chrysocolla. I'm gonna maybe put some of that turquoise in a different layer too. So, boysenberry. Oh, so many bubbles. <clears throat> Quinacridone blue violet. That was so weird, y'all. And now I kind of have to move pretty quickly because I have. <clears throat> All this paint that's gonna start to dry. Bellagio. Okay. Hot orchid. So many bubbles. Okay, it's a lot of hot orchid. Can't help it, it's so pretty. So weird. Blissful Bordeaux. Um, so I hope to do a video soon now that I got my prism pour for Leslie's group, Acrylic Pouring with Color Art. So if you are a color art fan, you should join that group. We also recently started our own fluid art group called Fluid Art Friends. <coughs> Excuse me. Acrylic pouring, resin pouring, all the things. <coughs> so we would love for you to join us. A little more of that guy right there. <coughs> and a little more of this guy. Again, it's it's new. I want to see it. And <clears throat> sorry about all my throat clearing and a little more of this one. Yeah, so we would love for you to join us and share your creations and you're welcome to share your relevant YouTube videos. Um, I'm a fan of letting people share their stuff. I, I do just ask that you would interact with people like We'll just drive by video and like when people ask you questions you're nowhere to be found i think the reason why we do this youtube thing is to pay it forward and help other artists and learn from each other so i've never been a fan of like not letting people share just because it's like somebody else's group i think that's kind of silly personally i get it but it's just not <clears throat> not me i want people to share their things with one another I think I'm just layering on too much paint. Okay, I'm going to stop that now. <clears throat> All right, cell activator, let's try again. That was so crazy. Still can't get over it. <laughs> and if, if this happens again, I'm just going to be like, hmm, maybe today's not a good day for paint. <clears throat> okay, here we go.
Sorry about my head. I know I sound like I can't breathe. I'm really like, I have a lot of bronchial stuff right now. So it's not, not the greatest day to practice doing this. I don't know why. So now while it's coming back in the center, I'm just going to stretch out the petals a little. So I think, <clears throat> probably shouldn't have messed with the middle, but <clears throat> yeah, I shouldn't have, so I have a, you probably can't see that very well, but I have a little blobby of CA here, and I was trying to gently break it up, but if you don't do it carefully, you, you get wonky cells in the middle. So what I have found is if you do it from high enough up, You spread it a little. Usually enough just to get a couple more small cells in there. And then it helps separate it a little bit. Again, black sea is pretty, I mean, black pillow is a little forgiving for that reason because you can't see as much <clears throat> of the stuff because the background is different. And like you put enough sparkly stuff on a black background, it is probably going to look pretty. Um, so composition isn't great. My favorite part is over here, which is probably my initial blow. All the other ones, I feel like my CA structure, um, like maybe it, it actually might be a little bit too thin. It blows out great though, super gentle, goes right over the top. Um, but this part looks great, like super love this. But the CA everywhere else more or less disappeared. I still, <clears throat> because the, the piece is really pretty, <clears throat> excuse me, the colors are really pretty. I, I don't think I would pour over it. I think I'll either resin it and put a wall hanger on it um, as like a round. If I can get it to the edge. Sorry. <laughs> I have foil on my turner and I'm having some challenges. Or I'll drill the hole out that I covered up since it's a record and turn it into a clock. That's probably what I'll do. Ay, ay, ay. I cannot get a decent grip on this, y'all because I can't get the edge. I need to put little thingies on the edge, but <clears throat> I haven't done that yet. Um, this part is amazing. I wish the rest of it would do that. So again, <clears throat> it's hard to tell for me if that was the CA or if it's because I didn't blow it out right the first time and I just reused the pillow paint. I don't really think that's the problem, but that's part of this technique is the trial and error. And if you're going to thin out your CA, maybe you don't thin it all the way out because you need, because, so here's the thing with CA, if it's too thick, it doesn't spread out very well. <clears throat> and if it's too thin, yeah, like I need this guy to come to the edge. If it's too thin, it sometimes sinks into your composition. So I need to help this get to the edge. Get a little help from your friends. Same thing um, with your paint. If your paint's too thick, 
then you can't get it to move. If it's too thin, it doesn't hold its structure. So paint thickness I don't think is the issue. I'm just borrowing from the edges here to help this guy right here. There, let's spin it again. But the color is amazing. That's what I mean. Like if you're going to practice and you try black background or black pillow, there's not a ton that you can do that's going to make it not look pretty somehow, especially if you use a bunch of blingy pigments. I mean, that's an amazing clock. Somebody who doesn't know what I was trying to accomplish would love that. You know, especially people who like retro art. There's an artist here in San Antonio. Well, I think he's from San Antonio. I don't know. A really cool guy. He does, um, if you've seen him at some market shows, he does art on cassettes and VHS and CDs and records and stuff. And he hits up these market days like every single weekend. And we met him the first time we did a market day and we've uh, been like neighboring booth buddies with him once. And he's really cool. And he's done some work for the Spurs here in San Antonio. Um, and a lot of a lot of people are just really fascinated by the kind of the retro style of his art. So I think this would look pretty cool, like if we did this as a clock with I don't know. I don't know what color hands yet. Maybe silver or blue or green. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Um lots of practicing to come. I love the colors. Let me see if I can <clears throat> give you a close-up somehow. I think we came to the edge already. I'm just going to give it one more good spin. What a weird day. What a weird pouring experience. But you can't deny that those colors are absolutely outstanding. So let me know. Would you leave it like this and resonate? it? No clock or clock? Let me know. The part that would be cut out is right here where the middle is, the cell activator part. So could be cool, could be good to leave it alone. I don't know, I think pouring on records is a fun way to practice. Um, going a little bit bigger, you don't have to worry so much about the edges and um, that kind of stuff. I will clean up my drips shortly. Now let me turn off my ring light and give you a close up. Alrighty, so this part is the best part. You can see by the cell shape though, um, didn't hold its shape very well. So what we have is more lacing than we have cells, but look at those colors, y'all. I mean, there's an air bubble I gotta fix. But other than that, like, really cool. Definitely not gonna scrape it. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, have a good day.